In today's Madden 21 tip, we're going to be breaking down a quick, simple edge pressure in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, my channel is designed to help you get better at Madden 21. So if you're wanting to get better, I post four videos a day here on YouTube that are designed to give you some type of tangible tactic tip or concept that you can use to improve your game in Madden 21. So I'd encourage you if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right in the corner of the screen. We also live stream every single night on our YouTube channel at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Um, you can go ahead and turn the notification bell icon on so you don't miss a live stream. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is we're going over a pressure here today out of the nickel normal formation. We're gonna go set our alignment to base align, and the format or the the um, blitz we're going to be going over is the nickel blitz two. You can also do this out of the buck slant show too, but I think it works just a little bit better out of the nickel blitz two. Uh, again, I already have my defense set to base line, so all I have to do is pinch my defense, crash my line down, and then from there I'm going to QB contain, slide this guy in off the edge, and then I'm going to use her this guy on the right side of the screen here, and I'm literally just going to put him in a blitz angle straight down. I'm going to let him move a little bit. And then as soon as they react to him, I'm going to bail into coverage. So move in a little bit, react to him, and bail in coverage. And as you can see, this is really, really solid pressure. Um, it's very, very fast pressure. It gets on your opponent much, much, much faster um, than a lot of other pressures in the game. Yes, you are contributing um, really five and a half resources uh, to this. What you can also do if you want to is you can drop your defensive lineman into coverage here. And what you'll see is the blitzes won't be as consistent when you do that, but it will still um, it will still get some pressure on your quarterback uh, as well. But overall, all guys, this is probably one of my favorite blitzes in the game because of how fast it gets on the quarterback. Like I said, you know, part of blitzing is you know resources. How many resources do you have to allocate to get the blitz to come in? Another big part of it, though, is how fast does it come in? So you see here, if I if I zone that left side guy, you know it doesn't come in as consistently. However, um, if I take this guy right here, throw him into a vert hook. Let's see. I don't know if this will work or not, um, but just trying to show you that you can mess around with trying to tinker a little bit and uh, have to send less resources. You see, you might get some instant sheds if you do it like that. But overall, guys, this is a solid pressure. Um, it's no, it's by no means, you know, super glitchy or anything like that. It's pretty simple, honestly. Um, it's a pressure that is designed to really just kind of make your opponent work a little bit. Um, you know, and you can stand kind of right in here. A lot of it does depend on where you hover. But if you zone anyone out, you'll see here the consistency of the blitz goes way down, especially in practice mode. So I just like to go ahead and keep everybody blitzing. You don't even have to put this guy on a contain. You can see here, if I leave him in a blitz angle, um, it will still come in. Uh, you'll either, you either get gap heat or edge heat. The contain means it's going to be a more consistent edge heat. But overall, you know, if you're just trying to get pressure, you don't even have to contain. You can bring him in on that blitz angle right there. This is going to simply overload the defense. They're just not going to, or the offensive line, they're not going to be able to pick it up. Um, and you'll be able to get some pressure. So nickel normal. This is the nickel blitz too. The setup will be in the description. Also, guys, if you haven't already, um, this is a play from our full ebook. Uh, we did a full defensive guide on the 46 playbook in Madden 21. And so if you are uh, interested in picking up that 46 defensive ebook, you can pick that up in the description. It also comes with my full offense. So I have it in the description as my Madden 21 uh, competitive bundle guide. So be sure to pick that guide up if you haven't already. Uh, we got a ton more from this formation and from this defense uh, in general. But this is just one little sample blitz in the midst of many pressures that you can get out of those, both the nickel normal and the nickel 55 uh, wide formation. So just a lot of good stuff in that book. Uh, a lot of good stuff from the 46 playbook this year, in my opinion. Um, it's the best playbook in the game, and that's why we wrote the book on it. So be sure to check that out. You'll see here, as I continue to run it over and over again in practice mode, it does get a little bit more inconsistent. But I find this to be the most consistent blitz in the actual head-to-head -head gameplay. Um, this, this is probably your best bet, in my opinion. If you really want to gas somebody up, this is the play you want to go to. So anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching the video, and I just ask that you go ahead and join our Discord. We have a Discord in the description that you can join to be able to kind of start talking to people about Madden 24-7. Would love to meet you over there. If you have any Madden questions, shoot me a text. My number is 812-216-3644.